A couple of sandos from the arch in the loop acquired jump cut. All right, let's go in for a Corey Wagner second angle. All right, I like these little containers. Look how perfectly fried this delicious looking bread is. Oh my freaking God. And then underneath that, we got some lettuce. Looks like some sort of mayonnaise. And then this is the butter milk fried chicken sandwich. Um, so yeah, it's thick, nice little cut of chicken. Looks pretty crispy, looks fried to perfection. And um, hopefully my uh, taste buds will think the same. Yeah, looks like a gourmet sandwich. Yeah, you know? basically. And then I got the ribeye steak sandwich. This thing was $19. There's two halves. <laughs> um, and this comes with a chimichurri sauce as well. So excited to dive into that. I love chimichurri. All right, the arch. A couple of sandos. Cheers. Cheers. Okay. Mmm. There's a lemon sauce. Oh, oh wow. You don't hear that very often. No, they gave me the option to put it on the side, and I was like, yeah, let me just take it out. It's interesting. Yeah. Oh, wow, this chimichurri is like not as. I feel like when I normally see chimichurri, it's almost a little more jammy or like marmalady. Like, this is like oil and cilantro in a bucket. <laughs> yeah, right? That's just what it looks like. Yeah, probably fresh as hell. Oh, man, this chicken's pretty crisp, crispy. I wonder if I should dunk instead of pour. Yeah, see, there we go. It just gives it like a nice little nice little glaze. See that? I'm loving this bread. Mm -hmm. It's like disintegrating. Mm -hmm. It keeps every bite really moist because there's so much butter in the bread. Like, wow. That steak is so tender. I gotta make a point of having bites of this meat, like you said, by itself. When it's that good quality, mm -hmm. you can really tell how, how tender and how well cooked it is. Mm. Wow, this is just a very like high class steak sandwich, I'll tell you what. This is a beast. I wish I would have gone without the lemon sauce. I was like, well, let me try this. I don't mm -hmm. know if I'm gonna like lemon and chicken. I don't think I'm a huge fan of it. But anytime I get a chance to explore, yeah. call me the less rapey uh, Christopher Columbus of food. I'll start calling you that. <laughs> How would you describe the way Corey kind of approaches new foods? Well, <laughs> very exploratory, kind of like Christopher Columbus, but doesn't rape. Wow, this is insane. This is also a sandwich. I would never ever purchase if it wasn't for the show. Right. Like if I was looking at that menu with the pizzas and patty melts and things like that, I don't think I ever would go steak sandwich, but the high res photography on the website really got me. So yep. hats off to whoever is photographing those sandwiches. You got me. I'm very curious about their pizzas. Me too. Me too. That would definitely be what I get if I ever find myself arching it up again, you know? Yeah, their pizzas apparently 72 hour fermented sourdough is what they use for the crust. And they have this weird little like lip. They're not they're not Detroit style deep dish. They're but they're also not regular pizza. It's interesting. It's some weird in between. Yeah, it definitely looks like it's like in this weird purgatory stage where it doesn't know where it is, but it'll find it. This is one of those things, it looks beautiful. It's got all the uh, the attributes that I would like. Like the chicken's really crispy, it looks really high quality. The bread's fried up and crisped up. It's very good bread, but the flavor profiles just aren't mixing in the correct way. It happens. Yeah. I'm not really 100% digging it, but I do like, you know, I like that I explored and tried something I normally wouldn't with like the lemon sauce and whatnot. Can I ask, um, is there a little piece of chicken I can try? Yeah, take a Even rip off of that. Matter of fact, I'd say take from the back end where it's like better and more. Just crispy. rip it? Yeah, because I'm not gonna eat any more of that. Um, if you also like want to try a piece of my steak, because I haven't touched this other half. Yeah, I'll know? try a little piece I'm of sorry, that. I really didn't want this to happen like this, but it's just so. It's hard with chicken. I just be a man. There you go. <laughs> yeah, take some steak. I will. I think you're gonna like this sandwich 
I think you would have liked this sandwich better. I think so too. Think it'll it'll probably some. fall right off. Oh yeah. oh yeah, take all that. That's like fine. Mm. Yeah, it's really good. I mean, you're right. So well cooked. Mm -hmm. Like, not overly breaded. You know, like not underly breaded. I mean, that's perfectly cooked chicken. 165 on the dot. Yeah. Um. I kind of get what you're saying, even with just that. You know what I mean? Like, good, not great, kind of thing. And it all seems it looks can be deceiving. It looks like it should be great. Exactly. But this steak, it's like one of those. You know, you got those quarterbacks every year in the draft that they got the numbers and they crush at the combine. They're like, dude, he's six four, yeah, two hundred and twenty pounds. He can throw at seventy five yards mm -hmm. and he runs a four four forty. But then turns out he gets in the game and can't make a goddamn decision if his life depended on it. <laughs> Does nothing but throw picks, Scotty Mitchell style. Right. You know. There's just some some players just have a, a, a you know how they call it like court awareness in basketball, like a field awareness or a killer instinct that mm -hmm. makes you a great quarterback. That sandwich might not have that. That's what I'm thinking. But yeah. man, did it show up at the combine? Yeah. It turned some heads. It was jumping all over the place, smacking those plant those sticks really high. Yeah. <laughs> you know who would have. Uh, Drafted this guy, Who? either the Lions, the Browns, or the Bears. <laughs> They're the kings that just getting rock hard over some, yep. you know, some stat lines. That that sandwich was a wide receiver that just balled out in college. Yeah, this was Roy Williams. <laughs> I think. I mean, if you're here for just specifically understanding food based on sports on analogies, much. boy, have we done that for you here today. I don't know. I love trying these new places. There's like this list that our manager posted of all these new spots and it's fun just kind of knocking them off one yep. at a time, you know? Yeah, and it's fun because I feel like whenever I'm doing research, I'm finding stuff that has been around. Yeah, absolutely. You know, none of this mm -hmm. fresh take stuff. So this is interesting. So this week, um, you know, two spots that have not been around very long. Jeff and Jude's yesterday, also very new. Yeah, and I think I went on the Arches uh, Facebook page. I think they had like one Facebook like or something. I crazy. bet. They only had 10 reviews on like Google or something like that. So they're, yeah, they have new. to be pretty new. Mm -hmm. Interesting menu. I'm excited to potentially find myself in a situation where uh, more of their menu is in my vicinity. Yeah, I want to try their pizza at some point. Yeah. All right, before we go ahead and rate the sandwiches that we each had here today, let's do a shout out. Merch out of merch out of merch out of. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we've been talking about it all week. Not only do we have merch, check out our merch store, number six cheese.com, but we just released our newest merch drop, the Dope. X shirt along with the amazing ha number six with cheese hamburger logo pint glass. Dude, I, I brought only it. to pay. Oh, here we go. I brought it with me. You guys me. can get a close up visual. Check Take a out. look at that. That's what you can get this week if you are a Patreon member. If you are a part of the Patreon team, we like to give these guys early access because they're the ones really supporting the show. And a lot of these things probably are going to sell out at least of sizes. Mm -hmm. Maybe even the pint glass might even full on sell out, we don't know. So we wanna make sure our Patreon guys, the big supporters, get first crack at it. But don't you worry, it's only a few more days before uh, the rest of you folks who are gonna have access to it. And you still do have time if you're really worried that they're gonna miss out on your sizes that you can sign up for Patreon and get it over the weekend. Uh, and anybody who buys anything, we do shout outs for. You guys know if you buy more than one item, you get to the head of the line. And if you're part of the hot sauce subscription pack, uh, then you get to double jump line and accessibility. And we're gonna give you a shout out right here, right now. Merch shout out number one, Miss Kaylin Turner. Uh, over there in South Carolina. Uh, and got the hot sauce subscription, saved 25%, gets it sent to her house every single month, doesn't even have to think about it. Kaylin, thank you. And merch out number two goes Mr. Jerry Collier. Jerry's got the uh, double hot sauce subscription pack, which means he's getting both the regular and the hotter sixer sauce sent to his doorstep every single month, and that is in Columbus, Georgia, where that we're mailing those off to. So we got some uh, potential rival, rivals there with South Carolina and Georgia people that we're doing shout outs for today. Yeah, absolutely. Thank you guys for supporting, and if anybody wants to get on that hot sauce subscription tra train or grab our newest merch, our newest shirt, maybe the lightweight hoodie if it's actually that's sold out, uh, number six with cheese <laughs> yes. dot com, and you can get all those fun things uh, as long as they're not sold out, obviously. Duh. You know, the only way to find out is if you go to the damn website. That's right. All right, time to rate it. Uh, you had the chicken, I had the steak out of five. Before we rate it, can we remind these guys to like the video? Like the video. Come on, guys, just like the damn video. It's going to help us out a ton. We're going to get a lot more views and then a lot more fans and yeah. then be able to afford a lot more food. So just mm -hmm. please do us a favor and like the video. Now we can stop bitching about it. <laughs> Alright, uh, time to rate the arch. Alright, out of five, I don't want to do McDonald's arches. What's that really like? Isn't there like a really famous arch probably like in... Yeah, St. Louis. 
the arch. Oh, the uh, that is a good one. Let's do <laughs> out of five arches in St. Louis. How many arches in St. Louis do you give the? Uh, you had the breaded fried chicken, the buttermilk, buttermilk, buttermilk fried chicken sandwich for seventeen dollars, Corey. Um, yeah, so this was like, like I said, I think all the ingredients were excellent. I thought the chicken was made to perfection. I thought it was a great cut of chicken. I thought they breaded it super well. This bread is absolutely amazing. Um, I could see that lemon flavor working with a lot of things and for a lot of people, but just coming all together, it didn't work for me. This could be an early team chemistry issue. Like when any, anytime there's like a huge NBA uh, yeah. super team grouping, like when LeBron and Chris Bosh and Dwayne Wade first got together, right. there's always that first quarter or half of the season mm -hmm. that they're not really melding well together and that the team chemistry is a little bit off and they're losing games that they're supposed to win. Right, they're trying to find their footing. They're trying to find their footing, trying to find the rhythm, trying to figure out how to get that team ball going. And for whatever reason, this just didn't mesh together in my mouth right now. They might come across later, it might be a few months down the road, they might figure it out. Right. But right now, um, LeBron's zipping passes over Bosch's head <laughs> and, and Bosch isn't making the cuts that Dwayne Wade's expecting and they're mm -hmm. kind of running into each other in the center of the key. So I'm only gonna give this, um, I, I mean, I think it was all great pieces, I just, the taste didn't do it for me. So I'm only gonna give it a 2.75. I like the effort because it was still a very good, I think, I think everything was made with quality and love. Uh, my steak sandwich is good. The tender steak was great. Uh, I liked the bread. It wasn't like that overly too hard crunchy bread that like, if you, for a sandwich like that, because you wanna get to that tender steak, the bread did work. Uh, the chimichurri was really good. But I think overall, like not the best steak sandwich in the world, uh, but just so fantastic. $19, I mean, that was across from like the Art Institute in the loop. I kind of expect that price there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna go 3.75. Oh, wow. Really good sandwich, but nothing that I'm gonna like. When you guys reach out and you say, what are the best places to get in the city? I wouldn't put the arch on that list, but that's not to say that if you're there and you want lunch, you're near there, you wouldn't get a great lunch. Right, right. That's what I'm gonna say. That's perfect. I don't have any basketball analogies, but that's why Corey's hey, here. So just replay athlete. those. <laughs> what if you, only athletes can say basketball analogies. Yeah. Uh, guys, we'll see you tomorrow for a brand new video uh, back at Corey's Peninsula, uh, drinking some beers, uh, eating some calories that are no doubt terrible for us. So thank you so much, like the video, We'll see you tomorrow. The weekend is almost here. Let's get those beers cracked into those pine glasses. Goodbye. <sighs>